So Perry Manasian signs a new contract with the Anaheim Angels of Los Angeles or the Los Angeles Angels. I still call them the Anaheim Angels because I live locally and can go see games. I'm a diehard Angels fan, and this is good news. Uh, Perry Manasian has been really good the last four years with the Angels, has been building up younger talent. Like I said, they needed to do. Instead of signing all these big names, they should go and sign good talent mixed in with young talent and kind of do what the Baltimore Orioles were doing. And the Angels are. The Angels have gotten better this year. They're better than last year. They're not losing as many games as they have been winning. But um, they are building a young farm system. They are building some young talent. They brought in some pitchers. And, you know, look, um, Perry Minson, uh, you know, like I said, you know, deserves a new extension. He brought in Juan Washington. And they've been doing a really good job with that. Um, you know, the Angels are bringing more people in seats. People are more interested in going to games. Um, you know, the Angels are looking fun again. And I hope they recandle light what they had years and years and years ago. Now, time will tell what Perry's going to do when it comes to uh, GM Perry's going to do when it comes to Mike Trout, Randone. Um, we still need some better pitching stuff. Uh, we still need some better hitting but our young players are getting better over time. And, you know, my angels, I've been watching for a minute. We're not going to get into the wild card this year. I don't, I don't see that happening anytime soon, but I do see um, us being a contender coming soon. I mean, our hitting's getting better. Our pitching's getting better. We ain't no LA Dodgers. We're kind of like the uh, Lakers to the Clippers over here. So um, I'm a diehard angels fan. I just want to see my angels get better. Hopefully, maybe we get a new stadium coming soon with all this good stuff coming in. But my Angels are doing better. They are winning more games this year. Um, but they are kind of sitting at the bottom of the barrel and the AL West side of things. But, but are doing way better than last year. Um, but Mike Trout, that's going to be the million-dollar question next year. Million-dollar question with... Um, uh, you know what they're going to do with him because he's been more hurt than um, than being healthy. You know what is knee issues to you know ankle problems. You know Mike Trout to me has been like ever since he signed. Like I don't know what it is. People come to the Angels and they do well for the first few years. Then they sign a major deal like Albert Pujols and they just fall apart. Um, but I do hope to see what the Angels are going to do next year to build on this momentum. Um, but I will read you the reports. So from Jeff Fletcher, the Angels have reached an agreement extension for Perry Man, uh, Mancini. So that's going to be good. Uh, finally, he's in his final year. They uh, He signed uh, after taking over in 2021, signed a uh, short-term deal. Um, the Angels have had little success under Mancini uh, throughout. It's fair to question how much of that was his fault. The first three years of his tender, he has tried to build a winning around Shohei Itani um, and all advised buying spree in 2023. Trade deals that didn't pan out. Artie Moreno and the team is now a full rebuild with a weak farm system, a little talent, and the at the MLB level. So what happened with my angels was, and I'll tell you guys this one, so if you're an Anaheim Angels fan, you already know what happened this year alone. We are not going to make the wild card. We're going to be a better team than we were last year. But we still need farm system talent. We still need to build. We used to be number one on farm system talent and bringing people in from like when we won our first championship, in which I was in the building for in 2002, we had great years. We had a great farm system and we brought in great talent like John Lackey, things like that from farm system. And then we've just not had it ever since, you know, Albert Pujols and signing a major deal with him and that didn't pan out. You know, we've kind of been squandering. We've been kind of over the last two decades squandering. And I do hope with Perry, I do hope that he does rejuvenate our G our farm systems, major or minor leagues, and and we do get better. Mike Trout's going to be the question. I think, and, and I'm not a Mike Trout hater here. I'm not trying to be a Mike Trout hater, but he has been more hurt than actual playing. 
and it's just been really unfortunate to watch if you guys want to go there. Like, he has been more hurt than actually playing games. Him and Randone. Randone was a bad contract to begin with, and, and Mike Trout is starting to become a bad contract. Now, what do they do with Mike Trout? I think, you know, if they're doing, if they're talking about full rebuilding at this point, what you could honestly do at this point is you could get rid of Mike Trout. You could dump his his contract to somebody else. You could try to over the postseason. Um, you could try to get rid of Randone, maybe rebuild that way a little bit. Um, but my Angels are in still rebuild mode. So they are rebuilding. We'll see in the next few years what they do. I, I don't have my hopes up for it. But I do think we're going to be interesting in the AL West. Us in the Oakland Athletics are literally building. And Oakland is going over to Las Vegas and losing a shit ton of money. So I feel bad for every Oakland A's fan out there as much as with my Angels. But the difference is my Angels are staying where they're at. And Artie Moreno wants a new stadium. We'll see on that because the last time he tried to get a new stadium, our mayor was so corrupted. Anyway, my name is Rev Sauce Nine. Uh, this is some news coming out of the Anaheim Angels camp. Um, you know, like I said, Perry's been trying to make strides with the Angels, trying to build up the farm system, but we we put a lot on a lot on Sh Shohei Otani. We put a lot on Mike Trout. These contracts that we that we attained way before Perry was our general manager is coming back to eat us in the ass or to bite us in the ass. And um, honestly, like, I'll, I'll be real with you guys. Like, as an Angels fan, and I've been watching it for years, my whole thing, my Angels need to rebuild. They need a good, their, their, their pitching staff is getting better, but it's not to where it could be. And I think they're kind of doing what Baltimore is doing, where they rebuilt with youth. And then now that youth, now Baltimore is taking off and doing the things. But anyway, my name is Rev Sauce 9 I'm just giving my opinion as I see it. Um, this is coming from the Yard Breaker. Um, uh, coming from the OC Register, OC News Group. The Mancini is uh, in the final year of his contract, and he signed a new contract. Um, like I said, um, we'll see. We'll see what my Angels do this offseason. I think they're going to be trying to retool once again. Um, but Artie Moreno needs to put some money into the Angels, man. Like, he wants a new stadium so bad to make a winning team happen. When you win, people show up. And my Angels, they're showing up. People are showing up. But we got to put winners on the field. Like, you want to compete with the Dodgers. That's what, that's what Artie Moreno says down here. He wants to compete with the Dodgers. He wants to be a showcase place. While we used to be that back in... 2005, 2004, 2006, somewhat 2000, uh, 2007, and now ever since then, we haven't been great. And we had the best names. We had Tory Hunters. We've had, you know, you know the Garrett Andersons, the Tim Salmons. We've had great lineups, Tory Hunter. We, we've had great stuff, Upton. We've had a lot of good talent come through the Angels' door. But we have done nothing with it. And we signed Mike Trout to a long-term deal that's now coming back to bite us in the ass. He's more injury prone. And we signed Randone. We signed, we took on a contract that literally is bad. Just like we did with uh, Albert Pujols. But the difference uh, different was we were getting Albert Pujols past his prime. So anyway, my name is Rev Sauce 9 Make sure to rate, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.